What's going on guys? In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about text styles and what they are used for inside of Affinity Publisher. So if we take a look at the screen in front of us, you can see that I've already created myself a text document, which contains a header just here at the top, as well as a bit of body text. And I've just duplicated that a couple of times. Then at the bottom of here, I've got a couple of bullet lists, and I'm just gonna use these to demonstrate how this feature works. So before we go ahead and get started, I just wanna double check that you guys have access to your text styles menu over here to the right hand side. If you don't see your text styles panel inside of here, then what you need to do is make your way up to your window menu, go down to where it says text, and then go ahead and turn on that text styles. And then all you have to do is just drag and drop that inside of your panels and just move that anywhere you would like to place it. So moving on, what text styles is going to be used for is, for instance, if I go inside of this text up here and I go and select my header just at the top here, if I wanna go ahead and change the font of this to be something a little bit different and change the size to maybe that size 12 or 13 and I give that a different color as well as maybe change the alignment to be in the center, what I've essentially just done here is I've created my very own style, how I would like my header to look on my document. And text styles is going to be used as a way of us saving this and applying it to all of the other headers inside of our project. So with my title now created the way that I like this in terms of the font I chose, color, size, and alignment, what I've got to do next is go ahead and save this so I can apply it to all of the other titles that I have inside of my document. And the way that we would do this is by going over to the right hand side inside of our textiles panel. And we need to look for the one that says heading one, as this right here is going to be the heading text. So with that heading one, what I don't want you to do is go ahead and select that because this automatically has a default setting applied. So if I go and choose that heading one, you can see that's now changed our font to be black as well as a different font and a different size. So I'll go ahead and undo that by using command or control Z. And instead of selecting that like we just did, what I want you to do is head over to the right hand side to this hamburger menu. Then once you open up this, we're gonna go down towards the middle, just where it says update heading one. Go ahead and select that option right there. And now that I just copied those styles that we just created and that saved that into that heading one. Then we'll go and highlight and select that second heading. Head back over to the right hand side, select that heading one then that is going to copy the exact same styles and formatting that we applied to the original heading. And we'll do the same thing at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that one. Then we'll go and apply that heading one. And it's the same kind of principle with the body text. Just go ahead and select all of your body text. Go and change your font to be something different. And then we'll change the color or the size as well. So I'll go ahead and make that maybe 14. We'll go and give that a color of pink. Then once again, what we've got to do is now look for our body text. Don't go ahead and select that as it's going to do the same thing as before. It's going to give you that default style. So I'll go ahead and just undo that. So what we want to do with our text and our font and color selected is we'll go back over and now we'll update that just like we did before. So update body. And then we'll go and apply the exact same thing across both of these other ones. We'll select that body and we'll do it finally on that last one. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do the same thing with our bullet lists. And there are a couple more features that are available that we'll talk about in just a moment. But first of all, we'll go ahead and we'll select our bullet list. Then we'll go and change that text and the color again. Maybe have that font right there. We'll go ahead and maybe make that orange. Change the size of that to be a little bit bigger. Maybe go up to like 16 or 18. Then once again, we'll go over to the right hand side. This time around, we we'll want to select the bullet one. And we'll go ahead and we'll update that bullet one. And then we'll go and select all of the text inside of this bullet two, and then we'll just go ahead and copy that style by selecting that bullet one. Okay, so another thing that we can do once we've applied all of these styles to this text is when we go ahead and make a change to one of these, it's gonna automatically update the rest of those. So for instance, if I go and change the color of this one right now inside of our bullet list, I maybe go up here and make it blue or purple. And at the moment, you can see that we've just changed that to the color blue. However, the orange one hasn't been affected. But if we make our way back over to the right hand side, back inside of our hamburger menu, and we choose an update bullet, that way it's gonna turn blue on that side as well. And that's gonna be the same principle across all of our body text. We can go ahead and make that a different color. 
then we'll go and change that to update that body as well. And you'll find when I go ahead and I do this, it's not going to affect the one at the top here. As you can see, that is still red. And the reason for this is because once we went ahead and we selected all of this text and we changed the font and the color, we saved the body style, but we didn't apply it to this section of text, whereas we did on these other two. So if we go back over to the right hand side and we apply that body text, and then once we go and we change anything in here like we did before, maybe make that a different color, and then we go and update that, that will update all three of those with the exact same color, as you can see. Same principle with the title, we'll go ahead and select that and maybe give that a color of red. Then we'll go and update that heading. And once again, it won't affect the top one because we didn't apply that heading. We just built off of it. So I'll go ahead and I'll select that one. Go ahead and choose that heading again. Then once we go and change the color of this one down here and we update that, it's going to update all three of them without any problems. So another thing that we can do, if we just go in here and we select our heading just at the top, and we make some changes once again, maybe go up here and we'll change the font to be that impact. We'll make that a little bit bigger in size, up to 14. Then what you will see if you head up to the top menu bar is just in this section right here, it says heading one plus. And that one plus is used to tell you that there has been a change to the text style since we last updated that. Whereas if we come off of this and we maybe highlight this one underneath it, you can see that just says heading one. But when we go ahead and select that one once again, that's going to have heading plus because we made a different style change to this one right here. So if you want to go and copy the same style to both of those ones, then just come up to the top here. And we're going to use this button right here, which says update paragraph styles. That way it's going to copy that across both of these. Essentially, all this is doing is acting as a shortcut to the option that we have in the hamburger menu to where it says update heading one. So it's just a quicker way really of updating your styles. And that's the same principle across the body text or the bullet list. We can go ahead and we can change that to be something different and go ahead and update that and it'll update that across the other ones. And if for any reason you guys want to go ahead and remove any styles that you may have on any of your text, then all we got to do is go back over to the right hand side and we just choose this option right here that says no style. Then that will take that back to the default before we went ahead and changed anything. So one more thing I want to show you, which is going to be new to Affinity V2 is I'll go ahead and just remove that style on there. And that is going to be the style picker tool that we have over on the left hand side. And the way the style picker tool works is by sampling from any other text on your document that you may want to copy that style from and applying that to another area of text. So for instance, if we want to make sure that our bullet list on the right hand side is exactly the same as the one on the left, then all we got to do is sample from the left hand side by selecting that, then that will copy that directly over to the right hand side. And if we just look at the screen in front of us, you can see that we've got this little T appear on our tool. And that is going to tell us that we have a style preloaded inside of this, which is going to be the style that we just sampled over here on the bullet list. So if we go and select any other text, then that is going to paste that same style that we have on our bullet list. However, if you want to remove that style and resample from another area, all you got to do is hit escape on your keyboard, then that will delete that style. Then we can go up and sample any other area, maybe this up here on this body text. Go ahead and select all of this text in this one. Let go of your mouse, then that will copy that same style that we have up there. Then once again, if you want to remove that style, just hit escape on your keyboard. Go ahead and sample from another area, highlight your text, then that will copy that same style that we had on our header. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and you've learned something new and I will see you in the next one.